All right, what's going on my stock market bulls and bears? I'm your host, Terry Z. Welcome to the channel, By the Dip. All right, guys, can't believe what I just did. Um, I just recorded a video on NEO, and this is the re-re-record, I guess you would say. Because you can see I have my screen here big, and I jumped into the video without minimizing the screen, so this big, ugly mug of mine would have been in the middle of the video the whole time. So let's retry this video again, and let's, yeah, how about that, Terry? Let's fix the uh, webcam here and fix the screen so it don't take up 50% of the screen, but just a corner here. So we're gonna try this again, guys, and get into the video. Oh, I cannot believe I did that. But anyway, we're gonna get back in and talking about Neo here. And as you can see in the one month chart, people was buying, people selling, people was buying, people selling, and it's just people buying in low, they keep buying and then it just stays up here and boom, people sell off. And kind of the same here, people was holding and they sold it down. Same happened right here. As you can see, it was up to 19, almost breaking 20. And it dropped the whole way down there to 17.63. But since then, 17.63, the whole way up now to 21.11 at the end of today on 9.29. So that's pretty impressive. You're talking almost like a $4 hike well, like 350, something like that. But anyway, yeah, 17, 60 up to 21. Yeah, like 350, 370. So pretty good gains if someone bought in at the $17 mark right now and it's up over 21. So some people are very happy. And I got a couple articles and a couple things here about the Neo, Neo brand, but I'm going to focus mainly on the ES6 because I found some articles that do review on the ES6 and I just did a basic Google search on NEO to get some information to bring to you guys about the NEO vehicles. So I think they're pretty cool. And as you look here, I got an article here on the market in, Markets Insider. Tesla competitor NEO can surge another 28% ad mid transformation into the next iconic auto brand Deutsche Bank says. So Deutsche Bank lifted in profit sales forecasts for the Chinese electric car manufacturer NEO on Tuesday citing the company's promising move into the premium auto sector. So that's really good news. And a note, whether NEO could be the next iconic auto brand analysts led by Edison Yu described the growing favorability in the expanding Chinese market. One recent study found that NEO boosted higher consumer referral odds in the country than Tesla. So that's pretty, and even more than BMW and Mercedes Benz. So they're saying right now in China, in the China market that NEO is pretty much the top seller of these electric vehicles. So that's even more than Tesla. So that's pretty cool. More than Tesla, BMW, Mercedes Benz. I mean, you know, China's a big market, man. There's a lot of people in China. People gotta have vehicles. So uh, the Deutsche Bank reiterates that it's a buy rating of $24 target price, NEO shares. The target implies a 28% leap from Monday's closing level over the next 12 months. So that is pretty much what happened here. Um, they came out with this and you know it was back here on the 24th and it was still down here to 17 and it's still 18 and then boom people lifted that and then people buying in right now so congratulations to people that bought in here and now you get to make a decision at 21 some dollars are you gonna you gonna buy more or are you gonna hold or are you gonna sell so that was that article and then I just did a basic general Google search here how many cars has NEO sold in 2020? Because if you're investing in this stock, they gotta have sales, they gotta be bringing in money. So it says, so far in 2020, NEO has sold 10,429 cars. It's up 68% from the same period last year. So and it says, note, ES8 has been substantially redesigned since it was introduced. So that's a lot of good news, in my opinion, for a newer car company, Electric, in China. It's tried to expand to the European market. And this article was posted on July 1st of this year. So they sold 10,429 cars in six months. So right now it is September 29th, basically breaking into the end of the third quarter. So basically if you break this in half, they sold 5,200 cars for the first quarter and basically 5,200 for the second quarter. So if they sell anything above 5,200 cars for this third quarter, they're right on par of keeping up with that. And I'm sure the sales are going to be higher than last year. So I'm kind of curious to wait and see what the third quarter sales will come out to be. But we got a couple more days for September to end. 
And what do you guys think? Are they going to sell more? Are they going to sell less? Are they going to be the same? So I found this cool article here. It's the BBC Top Gear. Now, I've heard of Top Gear. I follow vehicles and stuff like that. And Top Gear is a pretty reputable company. They're just not going to, you know, they're going to give an honest opinion. And this is the European Top Gear. And out of the 10, they gave it a 6 out of 10 of the overall verdict. And that was for the Neo ES6, which is what I wanted to cover in this video because they did this whole article here. As you can see, they have an overview topic. They have a driving topic. They have the on the inside topic. And they have an owning topic. And they have the final verdict. I'm just going to kind of go over the final verdict right now. Now, you may be wondering how could they do a review if this car isn't in Britain, but we're just going to read it here. Even though it isn't available in Britain, you, sh you should be sad about that. Not quite there yet, but the EX6 shows a lot of promise for Neo's future. So they're even saying that they're sad that the Neo ES6 is not in Britain yet because they would love to really get their hands on this car. So that's good news if you have Neo stock because the, the uh, Top Gear is saying they wish they had it. So that's European um, buyers wanting, this, wanting the Neo cars. So if this deal can come through, it's going to be good for your stock. Um, it says here, the Neo ES6 is a good car. In many respects, it is on par with the competition from Europe. The interior is comfortable, spacious, and feels well made. The in infantant look and feel slick of the powertrain is smooth quite and makes this 2,345 kilogram car properly quick. So that's more good news. Another massive plus is the access to the NEO's battery swap station, something we wish I thought of to implement in the UK. So right there you got people that do car reviews in the UK and they're already saying that NEO is doing something better than their own country. So that's pretty good news in my opinion. So NEO is already doing things right because they're comparing how China's NEO is doing it compared to the way UK is doing it and they like the way that Neo in China is doing it more than their own country. So, so that's good. So they say here then, it gets into a little bit of their criticism. It's not all good though. The ES6 isn't slightly sporty, much like the EQC. The body control leaves much more to be desired for the most part feels you can feel the substantial weight. But as a marker in the sand, only Neo's second car is an impressive bit of a kit. So this is Neo's only second car and I mean, I guess if you live in a place where you have bad weather, you may want this car because if they're saying it has a lot of weight, then that means it's good to dig in the snow and if it's four wheel drive, you'd be really good to go. Now it says the score is a tricky one because Neo isn't available here and therefore doesn't have UK prices or spec. We've gone to the six. It's a surprisingly good thing. If lacking a few areas, Neo's charging ecosystem might have earned it an extra point, but it's still unproven and again, only a thing in China, should the ES6 ever materialize in Europe, we'd be happy to revisit and review and revise our score accordingly, but for now, we can't say for certain whether it's better or worse than the comparable Audi, Mercedes, or Jaguar. So, for them not even getting to technically drive the car, test the car, things like that, I don't know if they have, you know people that live in China that could have did some testing for them and things like that, but I know they'd like to get their hands on it. And you know with the virus shutting everything down, you probably can't cross over into China right now. Why would you? But anyway, yeah. So I mean, a 6 out of 10 for them not even getting to really, I don't know how they drove the car or how they tested it, but you know, I guess they had people that you know they could talk to that maybe owned the car, people's reviews, maybe like people that bought the car, maybe they contacted them for their reviews, I don't know. But um, there's a lot of different things, like I said, you can get in here to the overview, the driving, on the inside, owning. So yeah, right now, man, it is at this spot. Neo is coming into the third quarter. They're probably going to release their sales for the third quarter. And you're at this spot where it's up. It's kind of, is it at an all-time high? Uh, yeah, I think it kind of is right there, man. It is. Let's see if we have it down here. So let's see what um, Robinhood gives it. 47% buy, a 40% hold, and a 13% sell on the analyst ratings out of 15 ratings. 
Not bad, actually. Not bad. Oh, there was one of my old orders I was going to buy back in June 5th. What was that for? <laughs> but yeah, um, so there you go, man. That is some of the articles. There you can see, even here, 10 hours on the market watch. Neither stock jumped more than 5% after the Deutsche Bank praises the company's technology. So that's good news because that is what they're really competing with with Tesla is the technology in the vehicles. And then, of course, making everything drive good, look good, feel good, comfortable, spacious, things like that. So I think right now you're 50 50 if this thing could sell off or go up right now because you got people getting profits. There still could be people that bought in back here, man, that are just like waiting and it's finally up here and people could sell off. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. Comment down below. Is it going up? Is this stock going up over the $24 target price or is it going to sell off? Now, I got two quick opinions what I think will happen. As of right now, if the stock keeps going up, there's a chance of a possible sell off of short term investors. But if you're a long term investor, I think that this stock would definitely go above the $24 mark. It's just a matter of how long are you willing to hold it. So that is the, you know, that is the breakdown of that. How long are you willing to hold the stock to get to above the $24 mark? So if you're in it for the long term, you got nothing to worry about. If you are a short term person trying to make quick buck, it's 50-50 right now. So, all right guys, um, if you like this video, please smash the like button if you found it very helpful. Comment down below, I will respond to your comment. I appreciate you guys watching, really helping me grow in the channel. And I'm here to give you guys news and learn with you as we grow. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. And remember, buy the dip.